Hey guys, it's Leo with Dreaming Tree, and in this video, we're gonna put together our cat's meow lantern. And um, there's a lot of detail in this, and you just wanna follow along, make sure that you just go with me step by step. You should have absolutely no problem getting this together. I've sort of, um, sort of put everything down uh, beforehand just to make sure that I get it right, uh, because this is my first time putting this together, so. If it's your first time, you'll be able to do it just as well as I did. So um, I sort of laid everything out beforehand so that we can go through the motions here and um, get everything in place correctly. So what you wanna do is you wanna take this piece here, which we've done in a glitter. There's two pieces like this. Um, one is a tiny little bit smaller, I think. Let me just double check that really quick here. And the reason we did two of these is in case you're using glitter, you wanna make sure that you don't have any white showing on the back, okay? So that's why we did that. But no, actually, they're, they're exactly the same size, so we don't need to worry about that. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to take our little eye-shaped um, vellum here and get that glued into place. So I'm just putting little dots around one of the eyes and getting that right into place. Just push that down. Okay. Uh, really small dots are probably better um, than trying to put lines of glue, especially when you're putting vellum down. You don't want that vellum squirting out into your work area. Okay, so you wanna do this exact same thing with the other. There's two on each side. There's two designs and they're, um, you know, you see them twice on the lantern. So you're gonna do the, everything that I'm doing with this cat here twice, okay? So that is that. Let's grab this layer here. Okay, we're kind of working top down. Okay, so that's gonna go just like that. So actually, before we put his face down, we're gonna take this piece here, which we did in a little turquoise color. We're gonna put glue on the back of this, and we're gonna glue this down to, I guess what I would call uh, a panel. We'll call it a panel, because it's not part of the main structure. Okay, so get your glue all around here. Try to work it into the nicks and crannies there. Don't use big globs. It just kind of gets messy and it could potentially warp the paper. Okay, and use one of the stars or a few of the stars or some of the circles or whatever to kind of help you with the placement on these. I'm using the bottom two stars here to help me with the initial alignment. And then everything else should sort of fall into place. Okay, just as it did there. And just kind of scooch things around before your glue completely sets and get everything nice and aligned. So that looks good. Okay, again, you're repeating this with the other set of these. As you can see here, I've got, let me move this out of the way. There's, there's two of these, okay? Because the lantern has um, two sides that look identical here. Okay, the next thing we can do is we can put this first piece that we did, we can put that in place here. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, we've got this cat done, I've got this piece pretty much done here. I'm gonna flip this over, and we're gonna put this vellum down, okay? So you wanna make sure that you just kinda of follow the curve of the cat's little mouth there, and you're working underneath that area, okay? So take a look at where the vellum is, okay? And kind of visualize where you're gonna to need to put the glue, so. I'm gonna start here, just kind of work it around, just little dots, and then get a few dots in the middle of this little intricate design. That should be plenty. And we'll go ahead and put our vellum down. Just make sure that you're covering the little cutouts in that area, and just push down, get that glue in place, just like that. Okay, so that's what it should look like. 
Okay, now this piece of vellum here, it's gonna go on the texture side if you're using AC cardstock, okay? Because this is gonna be the back that you see from the inside. Okay, so put that down like that, just to kind of see where you need to put glue. Okay, and just start adding little dots. Okay, it looks like it goes all the way down here. Add a few dots in the center. And then go ahead and put that down. Just make sure you don't obstruct any of the nice cutouts. Push down. Okay, so there we go. I know that looks kind of weird, but that's, that's how it's supposed to work. Okay, and then this piece is gonna go here. And then this piece is gonna go here. So actually we could glue this on top first and then put this down when we're done. Okay, so you can go ahead and put glue on the frontmost piece. This one we did in a black glitter. So if you're using the glitter piece, that's what I'm working on right now. If you're using glitter, that is. Yours might just be cardstock or it might be something else. Okay, just make sure you get your glue out to the edges and then throw a little extra glue on the inside here. Just make sure that you're not getting glue too close to the cutouts. We don't want to obstruct any of that. Okay, and then this is gonna go right on like that. And just kind of scooch it around, making sure that you've got everything nicely aligned. Okay, so really the, uh, the whole idea behind that, again, is because we didn't want, we wanted it to be black on the inside too. So when you look inside the lantern, you're not seeing a bunch of funky colors. So it did take a little extra, uh, a little extra planning just to kind of get that all figured out. So that's gonna go on there like that. And then that is gonna go all on there so that when we look on the inside, it's nice and solid and black. So it's beautiful inside and out. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna focus and concentrate our glue on this piece here. We don't wanna put it on this piece because the ears don't need glue. So we're just gonna work with this piece here, okay? And you can get it all the way up to here, just like that, work the insides, get your glue all over there. Okay, and then what you also wanna do is put a little bit of glue on this part here so that stays down on our vellum, okay? And I'm using this little piece here as my guide for placement. So I'm gonna pop that in place and then look at his mouth, make sure that's all set, and then just go ahead and push that down. Okay, give that a little bit of time to dry, just like that. Okay, so there's your first piece. So you can just rewind this. I know it's a little, a little complicated, not really though. So there's your first little panel Okay, we're gonna build all four of the panels. You've already done one. You're gonna do the same thing with this. It's gonna create another one identical to this, okay? And then we're gonna do the other design here, and then we'll put all these on there and put our lantern together. So there's our first little panel. I'll put that to the side, let it really set. <clears throat> and we can begin putting together the other part of our little kitty here. Okay, so finally, what we can go ahead and do is, and I wanna go ahead and fold and bend this at the score marks before we do anything else, just so that it's easier to work with later on. Okay, we are gonna go ahead and get this glued into place here, like so. And you can see there how you know, looking at the darker areas will help you with the alignment. Uh, and there is barely, it's not even gonna be very visible, um, a border around here. This piece here is just slightly smaller than this piece. And we had to do that because we didn't want it, um, you know, going over these little score areas. So anyway, 
uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to put glue on the main structure here. And I'm going to continue just using dots here. Don't get it all the way out to the edge because the paper doesn't go all the way out to the edge. Just try to keep it just barely off the edge. Okay, and I'm just doing dots. And you just dry a lot faster. And with all these, with all these little intricate details, it might just be easier. And then that way this paper won't warp either. Okay, so get that set up. And if you want, you can kind of hold it in midair to help you get the initial alignment. And just watch those little shadows there just to make sure that you've got it properly aligned. That looks perfect. Okay, so we're just gonna push that down and hold it in place until it gets a, set to, gets a chance to set. That is perfect. I'm very happy with that. Okay. And then we can fold this over onto itself so that we can begin working on our other cat design. Okay, so again, you're just gonna do the same exact thing on this. This piece is identical. So everything I do here, you're gonna do here. And when we're done, we'll have two of the same thing and we're just gonna put it together to form the actual lantern. Okay, so I'm gonna put that aside. These are the other pieces for the cat. So we'll deal with that in a little bit. Okay, now we can go ahead and put the other design together. And it's looking really good. And this thing is going to be really sturdy too. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, so our, for our cat design, we're going to take this piece here and the vellum portions go like this. Okay, and like that. So these little cutouts on the circle are going to let light pass through the nose and his little chest here. Okay, so we want to go ahead and, and I've got the texture side up because this is going to go on the inside of the lantern. And again, I'm just using little dots. Try to kind of try to keep them not all the way at the edge. And don't put any glue on the actual cat because that's where the green vellum is going to go. Okay, so you can kind of put glue here, but don't put any on the cat. We don't want any glue on that just yet. Okay, so that looks good. Let's get our vellum in place here. I'm going to start at the top. Make sure that's nice and aligned and then push that down. Get that in place. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right, and now for this piece here, you kind of see where the glue needs to go everywhere except, well, just as long as you don't get it on the cutouts, you're fine. And then put a little bit along the edge too because we do have a little bit of that green spilling over in that area there. A little bit on the tail. Okay, just make sure you don't cover up his nose, mouth, and chest. Get that nice and in place. Push and hold that down. Perfect. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to glue this to the inside of this piece here. I want to make sure that we get it nice and aligned like that. Okay. So we can go ahead and put glue on the inside of this. Again, just using dots. Get it all over. We need this entire piece covered. Okay. Work that glue. I'm making a lot of noise today, aren't I? Okay. And Again, if it helps, lift it up just a tiny little bit so that you can use the little shadows to help you align this thing properly. Let's take a look at it from the front. That looks almost in place. There we go. And then just push that down 
and hold it until you got a nice strong bond. And I did good. Yeah, and actually, you can actually use the middle part too. There's no vellum there to help you with alignment as well. Okay, there we go. All right, and now to finish this guy off, we're gonna put this piece right on here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our glue on this piece here. Definitely get some glue out to the edge here. You want that to be nice and clean and seamless. Just very gentle with the glue. Okay. All right, and I would maybe use like the the mouth of the jack-o'-lantern as your initial guide for placement, and then everything else should kind of fall into place. Okay, and even if you have a little bit of the black showing through, it's kind of cool. It gives it a nice shadowy look. If you have any glue spilling out, just go ahead and clean it up a little bit. All right, so that's looking great. So that just leaves this overlay, which we did in a glitter, and we've got this vellum here that goes over his nose, mouth, and chest. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue surrounding these areas here so I can get this vellum into place and a little bit too much there. We'll pop that right on. Just make sure you're not obstructing the eyes, that you're covering just the mouth, nose, and chest like that. Okay, and then we're gonna put this right over this piece here, making sure that we've got that nice and aligned. So we can go ahead and put glue all over the back of this piece here. It's very, this, this is a very simple project actually. It's just, <clears throat> you wanna make sure that you do things in the right order so that um, you get the cleanest look possible. Uh, you know, if you, if you wanna skip the vellum, you totally could do that and just cut out just you know the base of this thing and it would still look pretty cool but not as cool as not as cool as all this with the with the variations in the vellum you know that took a little bit of extra um, thinking and engineering on our part to bring this to life to you, for you so i'm looking at his little tail here to help me with the initial alignment now i'm looking at the jack-o-lantern and that is perfect there we go Okay, just push that down. And there is one half of your lantern. And again, you're just doing what I just did again with this panel here, with the construction of the cat, of both cats, this design and this design. And then we're gonna eventually just connect these together to create one solid lantern. Okay, so you've got half of it done. Go ahead and, you know, Rewind this back to where I started on this and re recreate these two again. And then we'll go ahead and continue on with the next step. Okay, so I went ahead and just repeated the same exact process that I did over here. And now I have two identical pieces here. So two sides here, two sides here. And we can go ahead and begin putting this thing together. So what we wanna do is just put them right next to each other like this. I'm gonna lift this up a little bit and I'm gonna get glue on this tab here. Make sure you get enough, enough glue in the center of the tab and then a little bit out to the edge. I am going to kinda of smush that down and get it all the way out to the edge as best as I possibly can. And then I'll go ahead and Put this piece right next to it, just making sure that the bottom is nice and aligned, nice and straight. There we go. I'm just gonna push gently, let it get its initial hold, and which it didn't, probably because this piece is pretty heavy. Okay, and you wanna make sure that you don't encroach over the little score lines there. I'm gonna push this down. I'm gonna Pull it off my table like this and fold it in half over on top of itself. 
because what I like to do is I like to kind of run my finger along these tabs here just to make sure that they're nice and flush. And if they are, that's a good indication that you've got this thing properly lined up. Um, so that is one side, okay? And then you can kind of push this over and fold this down like this. And we can fold this over. We're gonna put glue on this tab here to close this up. Okay, I'm gonna get that glue out to the edge. If you can get it out to the edge nicely without having to use your finger, then more power to you. I just like doing that because it not only gives me a nice clean seam, but it also helps this dry a lot faster too. Okay, so then I'm just taking this piece and folding it right over. Okay, a little extra glue there. I'm gonna push that down. Try to work with stuff flat as much as I can because I don't crease the paper. I'll give that a second to hold. And there is your lantern. It has dimension now. Okay, there we go. That's beautiful. All right, so now uh, we're gonna put our bottom on. And at this point, pick your front. Which part are you the most proud of? Um, I think I did a pretty, pretty good job on all the sides. So I don't really care which side's the front. Um, locate your little squares here. One of them has a little L cut into the bottom corner here. You can see it there. That's your liner that's going inside. This piece is slightly bigger and that's gonna go on the bottom, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on this tab here. Okay, and then I'm gonna do a little line right up to the edge. And I am gonna go ahead and work that to the edge even more with my finger. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab this piece here and get that perfectly aligned and centered on that tab and start applying some pressure there. There we go, just make sure you've got it nice and centered, nice and even, and then you can put it down on your table and push down from the inside. Hopefully you can see that, We're working with a lot of blacks today Shadows are going to make it a little bit harder for those to be seen on screen, but it should be okay. All right, so give that a few extra seconds to dry. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put glue on the remaining tabs. And you know what? No one's really going to see the bottom of this because we're going to end up putting this on a base. So still get your glue out to the edge as well and flare these out a little bit. So as you close the bottom, it grabs more surface area and just holds better. Okay. And work your finger around the perimeter, just making sure that it grips. And then you can actually, with this thing, because it's so heavy, I'm just gonna put it down on my table and work from the inside just pushing down on those tabs where I put that, that glue. Okay, and if we need to, we can always go back in and touch this up a little bit. Okay, but that looks pretty good. And black is very forgiving. Okay, just be patient while that sets. There we go, okay. Go ahead and put a little bit of glue on the tabs inside and then take your little piece with the L on it, slide that right in there. And that's just to kind of sturdy this piece up even more. Okay, this is going to be a really solid lantern. Okay, perfect. It looks pretty dang good to me. Now there's, uh, there's some little parts here where I didn't get enough glue in there and it's kind of sticking out a little bit. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue down on a piece of paper and I'm just gonna dab my razor blade so that I only get glue on one little side. 
and I'm just going to slip it right under that little part where I didn't get enough glue. Just kind of rub it on that paper and then immediately just push and hold that down with your fingers and don't let go. Uh, and don't let go until it gets a good grip and it stays nice and flush. I'm going to keep my finger there and I'm going to clean up one more little side here that I just am not completely happy with. There we go. And I'll just push that and hold that in place until it sets. Okay. So that's how you can get a really perfect and meticulous little end result by just going in and cleaning up some of the loose ends. Okay. So that's your lantern. Now we did include a little base for this thing, which is right here. It's very simple to put together. Um, I guess you don't have to use it, but we designed it and it looks way more, way cooler with it. So I definitely recommend you use it. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take these pieces here and let's just get everything folded and scored so that our life our lives are easier once we go to get this thing assembled. Okay. Just get everything nice and bent. Okay. And then put it back down. We have four little overlay pieces that are going to go right here. You've got a nice even border that goes over or that goes around each of these pieces. So you're going to try to center it as best as you can. There we go. And just pop it right on there, nice and centered. And just push. Hold that in place. Always work flat if you can, so you don't risk um, creasing or bending and ruining your project. I'm just putting little dots on here today. I guess I'm in kind of a, a dotty mood. Okay, again, just nice and centered. There we go. That looks good. Get the other one. And in no time here, we'll have our cat's meow lantern all ready to go. And we can put a nice little tea light inside of it and enjoy it on our mantle or in our dining room, kitchen, maybe even the bedroom at night, kids room. These are really cool gifts too for anyone that just loves Halloween and loves vintage. Um, it's a one of a kind sort of piece that they're not going to be able to find anywhere. So anyone that truly appreciates and loves Halloween would love, love, love to get something like this as a gift. I know I would. If someone were to give me a unique Halloween luminary as a gift for Halloween, I know I would just cherish it. So think about who that person is in your life and make one for them or make one for yourself or make one for a child, make one for a teacher, whoever. There we go. Okay. So we've got all four of our little panels in place. And what we're going to do is we're going to join these two pieces to make one long piece. Okay. And I'm going to do that by putting glue on that tab there. Probably going to need a little bit more. Get that out to the edge nicely. Okay. Just line these up flat and push down, let it get its initial hold just a split second there and then fold it over on top of itself. You should have a mirror image and that's how you know that you've got it perfectly aligned. Okay. Give that a few extra seconds to dry and then you can go ahead and put some glue on this tab here. So we can close this up to form our little base. Okay. I'm going to put that down flat and just connect it. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right. So there is the beginnings of our base. And we want the top to be black. Okay. So what we're going to do, I'm going to start with this flat. 
going to go ahead and put glue on one of these tabs. Get that glue out to the edge. I'm going to spread that nice and thin all the way out to the edge there. And that might be a little too much there. Okay. Uh, let me clean that up. Kind of encroaching over that little score mark there. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and get that nice and perfectly aligned. You don't want to go over the score lines. You want it to be like just right next to the score line. Okay, and just push and hold that down. Just like that. You can put that flat down on your table like that. All right, so there's your base. I'm going to get the rest of that glued down like that. And this piece is going to go inside to strengthen this up a little bit. Okay, so again, just a nice little line in the center. And then work some of that out to the edge. Get it as close as you can. I used to not smear it with my finger, but sometimes when you put a line that close to the edge and then the paper goes down on it as you try to glue it, it kind of shoots out and smears out. And that's less likely to happen if you kind of flatten this out with your finger. And that's how all my projects have been looking really pretty because I'm just getting creative with my process here. You can even do this on camera and still be confident that they'll be photo ready and worthy. Okay, so I'm flaring the tabs out a little bit so that as I push down, I have more of the surface area to grasp. Okay, and then just push that down, run your finger along the edge there so that you help it kind of grab. Might have to nudge some things around here and there, and then you can flip it over and push down from the inside to really get it to hold. Okay. And take a look around. That came out great. Okay. And we can go ahead and flip this over. Put a line of glue on the tab section. Just a little bit in the center. Put your liner inside. And run your finger along the edge there. There we go. All right. We've got our base. We've got our lantern. We're going to glue that right onto the base here. So we can go ahead and just put a generous amount of glue on the bottom here. And I am going to smear some of that out to the edge as well. Got a little too much there. Okay. And it doesn't really matter where you put it, but I would probably do like a like an eagle's eye view of what you're doing here just to make sure that you get this nice and centered and just plop it right on there. Center it nicely and leave it sit until it's dry. And there is your beautiful, 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 beautiful one of a kind lantern for Halloween. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.